Hello and welcome everybody. I'm Stuart Christian from Berlin. Before we start, I would like to in, let you in on something personal which I rarely do. And that is my personal daydream, which I dream from morning till evening every day. And that is that one day I'm going to buy YouTube and throw everybody out except my channel. So I force everybody to learn piano. One day it's going to come true. I hope you like my version of daydream. Um, this is... Uh, it's quite an evergreen. Um, yeah, let's go. If you like it, of course, as always, uh, leave your like under the uh, video. That helps my channel to grow. Now let's go. Hello everybody, usually you do not need help for daydreaming, but here's my help for this daydream. Uh, what do we have? It's in G, the, uh, the one is a seven chord, so in, as opposed to in jazz where we have uh, uh, the G major seven, but here it's a kind of bluesy one. And we have the one, six, two, five progression, meaning uh, G seven, A seven, A minor seven, and D7, now we have the chords, we just need to give it a beat. How did I solve the chord problem in conjunction with it, giving it a rhythm like this? One and two and three and four. And, and it always stays the same, at least for the A part. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Just following the chord notes. One and two and three and four and one. This you should practice uh, in the beginning separately, makes it easier then to add the uh, right hand and the, uh, the first chorus is quite easy. But uh, a little hint, you know, when we play the melody here, you have to arrive here at the octave, right? On the... Um, Yeah, 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 a little bit of syncopation. You will manage, I trust in you. But here, look at the finger setting that we can actually, without much fuss, reach the octave here is. We take the first one here and then second and back to the first. Okay, so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and lovey dovey one and two and three and one and two and three and four that just repeats we want to go to the harder bits and then of course we have the 
we have the B part where we kind of simulate the guitarist like jip, 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 swing guitar, um, just fourth mode. And what do we have here? We have the C7 and we just, you know, just have a look at with, with me at the chords. You see um, that we have a one, three and seven voicing. Then comes the A7 also with the one, three, seven voicing. Hey, that's cool. Just repeating. Then the G7 also with the one, three, seven voicing root, major third and seven. That means. And then we have the E7, also, can you believe it, 137 voicing. And then I dare to, you know, um, uh, connect the bass note. So this is the hardest bit, actually. Why? Because we have the, the weak uh, fingers here, the left, the left uh, side of the, of the left hand is in demand. And uh, so you can either do it like this. And you should also practice this separately until you get it regularly. Otherwise, this will be the moment uh, it all crashes and you will stop there. So, ba -ba -da -ba -ba. and then go directly from there to the beat again. Da -da -da. Um, I think I might even have, have to, uh, done it like this, <laughs> choosing my strong fingers here. It's not what a teacher should do. I just did it. I have to take care of so many things when I play here, recording, um, not, you know, dropping notes you cannot play. So I might have taken this one and then it's also okay. But then you have to find the, uh, the three, uh, the chord from, um, from the fourth finger here. So you might as well try and you're with the fifth finger already here. But both works. So again, have a look at the chords that you can play them nearly blindly um, when you add the uh, right hand. Okay, so uh, one and two and A7, G7, E7, da 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 da, A7, G7, ba 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 ba, do 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 do. And a break one and two and this you know it's a minor seven look at this yeah 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 so learn this jump okay and what do we have now let's take let's have a look at the right hand so um one and two and three yeah, you can take that from the slow replay that also just repeat um, and it just repeats three times until we come to this break moment. One. And here we have one and two and three. So we have this one, the D sus, very suspect, very suspicious sus. Uh, we have the D seven with the sus four and it just resolves on the two and one and two and three not so bad one and two it gets a little bit worse we have again the connection with the bass so i think it just sounds nice to go into the next chorus and uh, here we have a little bit of variation we start just like you know believing it's all the same but it ain't one and two and three we not only um we not only get an octave higher but you see one and two and three and four one and here a little fill and here one ah yeah a little bit of blues notes blues, blues idiom here Yeah, you see there's a little bit more chord notes. And now we get even more into variation territory here. One and two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, sliding, the, uh, sliding, swiping the, uh, the third. I would do this with the, with the second finger. And now, important change to the first because we need to 
We need to go up again. Okay, here. One and two and three and da ba ba ba. One and two and yeah, a little swingy, swingy little uh, ornamentation there. And then one and octaves. One and two and three and four. And now we have. You see? Little variations here in the second verse. Little variations. Remember what is different. It saves you time. One. And. And here. Yeah. And always just, uh, you know, note what is different and I was just thinking you know when you when your beloved wife comes home let's assume it's your wife because we have uh, like about 90% men here well, not of all of you married and she has a new dress she has a new dress and then you tell her where your shoes are the same I remember that uh, your hair style is the same your ears are the same hmm your dress is different yeah that's a waste of time. By that time she's gone. You always just know that she comes in and says, you get a new dress. That will do the job. Remember that. There's so, so many um, similarities between um, blues piano and uh, a functioning marriage. I couldn't tell actually because I've never been married. But um, So where were we? Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. So, first variation, and yeah, second variation, yeah, it's kind of a drone licker, yeah, finger setting important, yeah, that you can play it faster also, E7, and we go on. <laughs> where, where we go? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. Also, a little rhythm difficulty, uh, rhythm difference. Also, with a, with a third on top. Also, here. Okay, you managed that. I know that. And now we come to this. Uh, uh, Also, here we have a clear drone lick sound. If you, uh, if you already follow me as a blues piano player, you know that this is a blues drone lick. It means that the, uh, the top note is resounding with every note below. It has a beautiful bluesy sound. And here we have almost a complete drone lick. We have finger setting. Second, we need your first finger back here. And yeah, one and and here do, do here also do a little uh, variation with the bass. You can ignore that. I tie the G seven to the E seven. One and two and three and four and one. Just to annoy you. It's really just to annoy you and to not like me anymore. I'm 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 so liked and it's getting really on my nerves. So I do something occasionally that some of you. Dislike me. And here did it. Connect the bass note, give a little variation in the bass note, but you don't have to do it. You can go straight on with your regular bass. So again, one and two. One and two and three and four. And we have on the A minor, we have another variation now. Look at this. Ah, before we had, and now we dissolve it. One. And if you want, you can tie that. And we have a drolling again now. It's actually here. Oh, I'm sorry. It was all one octave higher. It doesn't matter. Okay. You will notice just like the dress of your wife. Okay. One, one, one. And here we have the complete drone lick. 
Last chorus. One and two and three and four. It is all its shining beauty. Just remember the first um, uh, syncopation. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Yeah, and here I drive a little bit crazy just to dislike me even more. So, but now knowing the term um, don't lick, you will remember this, you will remember this, you will remember this, you will remember this. And we go on to the A minor. So, and now we come to the hardest bit. It's the last um, B part here. And we are do, um, okay, now I make, now I make enemies. I know that, I know here. But it's such a nice little lick, uh, I wanted to do this. It's a little bit Oscar Peterson y. Yeah, that is a, I, 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 I googled that. Os Oscar Peterson y is an adverbial construction of the first kind. The Britannica Encyclopedia um, mailed me. They said, thank you for the new word. Okay, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little jump for you. One and two. That is definitely Peter's and knee. Again, one. And this jump is difficult. Mm. Here. You should also uh, practice that separately. One and two. Here. We want this upwards power slide made in Berlin. Very droney, very droney. And then second time. Ah. Little variations, you will get that from this slow replay. Before we had, now we have the E, okay? Little details. Hello? We are reaching the end. One and two to and three to and four and here. One and two. Uh -huh. D sus. D sus seven here. And our from blues, we know. Our sixth. You remember that? Of course, you remember. You're good students. One and two and. That's it. Now it's coming to the slow replay for the ones in need. I thank you for uh, learning this. I thank you even more if you buy this. Everybody who buys my, um, my sheet music is immediately uh, coming into my closed uh, circle of close friends. I'm e very easy to buy my friendship for four euro fifty or four fifty, and I throw even my best and oldest friends out in favor of you. It's so easy to get my love. Thanks. See you next time. Bye.